This is a test of frequency instruments, bass, drums, distortion. Infect by uh, the conservative dots before every single move. It's just not. It's just not uh, uh, rational. That's all. Which is why people are very confused. And the side numbers are not clear on what the page out is. You know, the tier two is three tier system. Tier two talks about doing over a hundred cases in a hundred thousand people. You know, maybe the, the nation doesn't trust those statistics because they are often getting skewed. So. Well, I think yeah. you've come up with a slogan there to replace hands, face, space, flexibility, maturity, cleanliness. Doesn't quite trip off the tongue, but we was like, like maybe we should like do this like more often. You know what I'm saying? Maybe yeah. we should do this more because you can kind of work it. So then, then I brought in my brethren, like my, my brethren Alex, type type brethren from days, the Godfather to all my kids. I was like, yeah, you wanna, do you wanna, do you wanna jump on? And these times, Alex had no experience with, like, whatsoever. He, he, like, he, he weren't a videographer, he weren't an editor. I think he'd done like a photography course. And now, like, after he put the work in and he, he's been like researching and revising, now he's like levels, like, you know, like, <laughs> like he, he's the guy now, you know what I mean? So, them two like do the editing and the filming and the videography. I'm more of like a producer and an actor. And then we've got like an actual producer on board as well that we brought the only. And it's kind of just picked up from strength to strength. And even the, the good thing about it, like, the really like rewarding thing is that. We offer like a space and opportunity for people that don't have that. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like people kind of, they have an idea, but they've got no idea of what to do with it. Yeah. Like we've, we've filmed people short films, like from just them having a script. They come to us, we'll find all the actors, we'll find all the locations. We've got all the equipment ourselves, etc. Like it's just, it's just rewarding for people to be able to do their stuff and it's good to be able to be that person do you know what i mean and this and it's also good to be able to do our own stuff as well like marcus was saying and i always yourself that you know this day and age obviously it's not i like like a, it's cool if that's what you're doing but for me that's not how i work i'm not looking for someone to hand me by my title i'm yeah i'm here to either create it or take it do you know what i mean 100 percent bro 100%. One thing I like, one thing, because we're linking up to Black History Month uh, in terms of the topics we're going to discuss, one thing that I know that you're very, very um, passionate about is when it comes to people from our community that we've grown up with, that we've seen around us, uh, there's a lot of them that are young black creatives that want to get their message out there. They want to get their stories told. And that's one thing Studio 44, I wouldn't, I'm not saying you only do that, but that's one thing you've definitely highlighted that if you are somebody who is young black, British and want to get your story told come here we definitely want to help out as opposed to trying to twist it into something we think works it's more about getting the stories told that don't get the chance to be told on these other platforms 150% like obviously that's not the only thing we do but yeah if you're telling me that you're coming to me or you're young black and you you, you need a helping hand you've, you've come to the right place definitely 150% nice so I'm gonna this is a, I've got my Everyone knows who you guys are now. I'm gonna let people know if they wanna ask any questions to, to Liam, to Marcus, to Daniel. We got the text line, which is 81333. Hold the call line for a second because we're gonna to talk to them directly on Zoom. So text in, tweet in, 81333, start your text with every individual on this Zoom, including myself. And I'm gonna give you like five seconds before I call out a name to give me an answer. My question is, what does it mean to be black and British? I hear the heartbeats. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. You got do five seconds to have a think. Let me go with Marcus first. Marcus, what does it mean to be black and British? I think it means we have a very unique perspective with regards, and more recently actually over the last few months with everything that's come across with a number of buildings in the UK, um, which have basically have, you know, I, you know, I don't want to get into too much statue talk, but you know, there's yeah. certain building and there's certain landmarks in the UK that have had history that has, you know, <laughs> basically been slave owners. And I think being black and British is understanding where we are now as 
people as black men, uh, especially seeing as this is the forum of, of people that we're talking to, mm. and also understanding that um, we can also be part of that change as well. So I think it's a it's an honour and a privilege for me to change the narrative that we've had because you know whilst I'm, I'm upset with what's happened in the past and whilst I'm upset with what's happening now, I think for me it's a privilege to know that I could be part of the change. So that's that's my angle and that's what it means for me to be black and British. Come on, loving that. What about you, LP? It's real proud, man. And for me, I've got a responsibility being a, you know, black, British, proud man to demonstrate, especially to the youth, what it actually means. And showing them, the, the sharing anecdotally what I've experienced being a black man. Um, understanding where my ancestors, my, my family, my parents, grandparents coming across this country and what they set up, what that means to me, and then trying to really focus on, on showing others, showing young people that listen, being, being black and British is, is an honor. It's something that is has a deep history, something that you should be proud of, something that for me represents great pride. Nice, nice. Amen. Strong answers there, boy. Nero, talk to me. There's some strong answers. And you know what? I feel like these guys might be a little bit more politically correct than you. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you're clean, I just want to know what's going on. Take a moment. Okay. Nah, do you know what? Do you know what? I'll be honest. Being black and British to me is, I feel like a bit of a superhuman. Because we have to move. No, no, no. Honestly, because. We have to move different. Like we have to, we have to, we have to be 150 times better. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we, we have to, we have to be at the top of our game consistently. Mm. We can't flop. We can't fail because we get dashed at the back of the pile. Do you know what I mean? As quickly as, as quickly as anything. Yeah. So we have to be better. The lessons that we have to teach our children are different. Do you know what I'm saying? I can't teach my children the same lessons as that person can teach their children. I have to teach them different lessons. I have to teach them if there's a if there's a straight route that that's the usual way you would get to there, we might not be able to take that route. So if we can't take that route, we have to move this way and that way. Do you know what I mean? But still getting the job done. So being black and British to me means superhuman. That's why that's that's to me. The pr did you hear the, the, the proudest in that one, man? Then did you hear that one? The mm -hmm. proudest thing, yeah. <laughs> being black and British. Yeah, did, 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 I love it. No, honestly, but it's it's the truth. I mean, look at the fields that we're in now. Let's be let's be candid if we can. There are some ways that we're in fields that for us we have to either work twice as hard or we have to be a little bit louder or we have to be even not even louder let's flip it on the other side we have to be a little bit more quieter just so we can get through and not trigger anyone who may look and go oh here it comes it's the side that we can't handle because of the negative connotations that can come with the word uh black and and man or black woman the ones that we know are not necessarily true but it's just what has been perpetuated what's been told what's been put down into people's mindsets from however many years ago and we're still trying to to get that out of the system and it, i mean any of you had to experience that any any i'm not going to throw it to who i just want anyone talk to me and i'll, and I'll just yeah let me know <laughs> for a lifetime i feel i've had to work twice as hard mm. than my counterparts i feel um just from how i look where i'm from how i sound i really have to activate i suppose what daniel's talking about in terms of becoming a superhero and fighting fighting against you're fighting battles I never thought I would have to navigate or have to experience even in, you know, recent years. So.